Hi there, so today I'm going to be talking about the Svelte Self component, which is basically used for, um, I don't know what you would use it for in a real world um, app, but it's basically like recursively putting a component inside itself. So for example, if you had a square right here, so I'm going to create a recursive square. So um, here's just normal square, and I'm going to put into here style equals um, height. So I've got this I right here. And with Svelte self components, you're going to need some kind of iterator that keeps track of which level in the recursiveness that you are. So let's say I equals um, 3 or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to make the height, rather than defining the height right there, I'm going to say height equals um, I times 50 pixels and width uh, is also i times 50 pixels. Okay, so then inside here I'm going to recursively put boxes inside of it. So to do that I'm going to put a if statement. So it always wants you to put an if statement. If you don't put an if statement then if and you just do svelte self like that it's gonna say it has to be in an if statement or an each block. And that is so that it's not like an infinite recursion. Um, otherwise, it would just be calling itself over and over again forever, and that'd be that'd be not good. Okay, so here is if, um, and what we're gonna do is if i is greater than zero, then we're gonna iter or we're gonna call itself again, like that. And what you're going to need to do, so maximum call stack size exceeded because the i is never going down. It's always 3. So when I call this, um, when I call itself again, I'm going to say i equals i minus 1. That way it eventually goes down to 0. And then you get this little um, recursive. It just goes on into itself. So if I had like 5, it'd be bigger. Whoa. And it's going, whoa, why is it so big? Oops, I put 35. I meant to put 5. <laughs> uh, there, like that. Okay, so that's one way you could use it. Um, then you could make, you could probably make cool graphics with that or something. Another use case might be if you have numbers and you just want to count the numbers starting at a certain number, then you would do some like count, and then below it you're gonna call itself. So if count is greater than zero, then call itself, so it's felt self, and then remember to put count, count minus one, like that, and then we will put that in here, um, oops, numbers, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So if I wanted, I could do like count equals 100, and blah, 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 blah. it goes all the way down like that. So that's some use cases. You know, I don't know what you'd actually want to use this for in your actual app, but there could be some cool use cases for it. Okay, that's all. Please like and subscribe, and bye.